Oh, so we're almost there. Almost, almost there. I know you're desperate for it. So that just sort of shows you some information about this particular app. So the speech sound picks. Oh, that oh, need to move a little bit, doesn't it? So speech sound picks, that just shows us where the sound picks, where the graphemes map with the sound, with the phonemes, the speech sounds, because we're working towards orthographic mapping. So this is my patented technique where I show black, grey, black, grey, to show how the speech sounds, how we talk on paper. Um, now, if you're looking at this and the monsters, I say the monsters are just the phonetic symbols for kids. So these are the phonetic symbols which you might know. So if you were to spell the word car, you would think about the sounds k r car, wouldn't you? So like k r. So it just shows you the phonetic symbols. You don't need to learn the phonetic symbols, but you will learn them really quickly. You just need to know the monsters because we're thinking about the speech sounds and speech sounds letters don't represent anything until they're actually in a word and this is going to really help because like monster air eh. well the monster the air eh might look like this but in a lot of words it's not going to think of that if you were having a look at a word like s ed said or m eh, n me many so that might be called an exception word let's say but we need to know the mapping of it so that monster will help us so if you're learning your um high frequency words then you can see the, the mapping. You can see that it's one, two, three speech sounds, three pictures of the sounds, said, said. Oh, look at that. And that's also going to help you if you're looking at books that might have words in it that you've not seen before and you can't decode using your font, your four code levels. So it just means that you've got the little... You know, you've got the little code down here. So if you think, oh, what's that word? I know you could you could probably guess from the picture and whatever, and that's fine to work out what the word is, but you also need to know the mapping of the word. So like mouse, mouse, mouse. Let's play mouse. Mm. Ow. So it just shows the phonetic symbols because I need you to understand how useful the IPA is. Okay, so the spelling piano app, why is it called the spelling piano app? Well, it's because, oh, use your duck hands. It's because the words are spelt like on a piano. So if we were to go to here, you can choose the monsters with the sounds or the pictures of the sounds. So let's have a look. What's this one? Sh oh, it's fly. Sh so the word fly it has three speech sounds. Ooh. Fly. Now, we've got to choose which of the pictures for the sounds in this word. Now, if you choose the wrong one, it's not going to put it on there. So that's the right one. But supposing I was to go by mistake or not sure which is the picture for the all, because these three can be pictures for all. So it's not going to play it until Ooh. you put the right one on. I like the I sound. The I sound, where's my monster I? That's why it's so nice we've got the monsters because you can just look for the monster because the monster represents that sound. So my I, there we go. So there's monster I, there's the phonetic symbol. So that might be a representation for I, that might be, that might be. They're the ones that we look at in our four code levels. But there are all these others here. But on the monster, on the sounds, on the spelling piano app, we're going to use just the ones that we're learning in our explicit, in our full code levels. So which one could it be? Is it I? Is it I? Is it the I-G-H? Let's have a look. Oops, sorry. Let's have a look. No, it's not. Oh, so it must be. I. Oh, there we go. Or I fly. F or fly. I fly. Fly. So we're always thinking about the sounds and the pictures of the sounds. And this app is to reinforce the four code levels. So they're those high frequency representations for the speech sounds. But we're looking at all the others in our in the classroom, aren't we, when we're looking at the spelling clouds and we're doing all our other activities. Okay, so if we went to the rap, you can play it. Sat, pat, tan, pan, chin, pin, ants, nan, pan, nip, sip, chip, pit, ants, nan, 
or stop it. <laughs> and you can also start the timer when you're ready for your own. Sat, oh, sat, pat, tam, pan, tim, pin, ants, nam, pan, nip, sit, tip, pit, ants, nap, sat, tap, tip, nip, pit, ants, pat has lots of ants in his pants. How many seconds did I get? Oh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and I might want to retry. Okay, so you can also, when you're learning it, use your duck hand, sat, sat, did that a bit funny, didn't I? Put at, pat, at and tan, just so you know where you're up to, and you might want to just stop there. Um, so the app is not just about checking what you know, it's about teaching you as well. It's teaching you all these combinations in a really nice, fun way. And when you write them, so we're not just reading them, we're writing them. If you're not sure what that visual prompt is, because all of these visual prompts, are, or a lot of the visual prompts, are going to be the ones that you see in your chants. So let's have a look here. But if you're not sure... N -ip -nip. Ah, n -ip -nip. Let me show, show the word as well. What's the target word? So you could use that one to write over the top, have a practice. You might hide it as well and see yours or show it. Or you could rub out a little bit. Supposing I didn't like my, supposing I did that and I said, oh, I don't like my puh. I don't like that one. So I'm going to rub that one out and I'm going to do it again. Oops, hold on. A little bit. Oops, battery's going. Ah. Let's have a look. Okay, so, sorry, <laughs> I changed the colour, didn't I? So I might want to do like that, but I can always listen to the sound as well as look at the look at the graphemes, look at the sound pics, and I can save it as well uh, and make sure that I get my letter formation right. Okay, so very soon this will be ready and I can't wait to hear what you think about it and how you get on.